we are all set and we are ready to go. So today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic that is um, about anonymity and privacy. And look at this beautiful uh, cartoon that you can see here. There are two dogs and the message is on the internet, nobody knows you are a dog. Okay, I want all of you to remember this because I'm going to show you something in some time. Okay, now uh, you must have all attended some of my previous workshops where I've spoken about the various cyber threats. And if you see any of these threats, you will see that the main issue for all of these is because of the data that is getting leaked. And uh, when the data gets leaked, your anonymity and privacy, both of them take a back seat because we all know that data is the new oil and these are all the oil companies which are currently uh, mining data, I should be saying. Well, and this is not surprising because you've all read the news which said Google was uh, uh, ready to pay about $15 billion, where $1 billion is around 8,300 crores. So $15 billion to remain as a default search engine on Safari in 2021. So that, that itself shows how much data is worth. Now, I want all of you to please open your phones, take your phones, all of you. And I want you to visit this website called deviceinfo.me. All of you, please open this website called deviceinfo.me. And when you open it, you will see that without giving any permission, the website will so nicely, it will show you which is the phone that you're using, which is the browser, is your Bluetooth on, whether your, uh, what is the battery percentage, A to Z, you will be able to see that uh, so many things about you is very clearly being shown there. Please have a check. If you have seen that, please comment yes in the comment section. Okay. Did you all see that? Okay. So now let's go to the next session. Uh, this is another website I want all of you to visit. It is called coveryourtracks.com. Okay. Cover your tracks. I want you to just go to Google and just type cover your tracks and you will see that website from EFF that is Electronic uh, Frontier. So just type cover your tracks on Google. And this is the first website that you will be seeing. And there is an option there which says test your browser. I want you to press that button, press test your browser and it will show you the results. I want you to tell me what results are you seeing. I want to see it in the chat box. What is the, yeah, yeah, see, uh, Sneha is telling it even as the latitude and longitude. Absolutely, it will show you your location also. That is how they get to know where you are, what you're doing. So Vikas ji is saying all info present. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. I know that. So uh, this is how you will be able to see not you, in fact, what we think is if I click on one link, what will happen? Just one link, no, absolutely not. When you click on a link, the person who has sent you the link, if the person is the owner of that particular link, he or she would be able to see where you are, which browser you are using, how much is your battery percentage, A to Z about your device. So we have to be very, very careful. And why all this information is leaking is because of the browser. So therefore, I hope you opened the EFF website, cover your tracks. And uh, when you test the browser, it will tell you whether you are protected from fingerprinting or not. 
What is the answer that is showing up in yours? Please put it in the comment section. Are you fully protected? Are you partially protected? Okay, Namanji, it says you have a strong protection. Is it because are you using an iOS device? If yes, please comment yes. Namanji. Okay, Ajit. Uh, Ajit ji, your, it is saying that your browser has a unique fingerprint. This is very bad. See, because the minute your browser has a... Oh, you're using a, br a Brave browser. Very good. Okay. So, if you're having a unique fingerprint, even if you're using VPN or any of these uh, uh, proxy services which will make sure that your IP address is hidden, the service provider will still get to know that it is you only because your browser has got a unique fingerprint just like how your fingers have got a fingerprint. Your fingerprint is unique in this entire world. Similarly, your browser's fingerprint is also unique. So therefore, no matter what you use, they will get to know that it is you. So this is what I wanted to tell you. You are not, okay, so you are not protected, Jyoti ji. You saw that, right? Okay, Vikas ji is telling your browser has randomized finger. The beautiful. So if it says it is randomized fingerprint, that means if you are visiting any website, that person will not know. How many of you have experienced this? Whenever you go to uh, Google and you will be searching, uh, say, a washing machine, or you will be searching Maldives. Uh, Maldives, no, no, Indians should not go to Maldives. So uh, you must have seen uh, Lakshadweep vacation, something like that if you have seen. Any website, if you visit after that, you will be seeing those ads only. How many of you have seen that? Press yeah, Put yes in the comment section. How many of you have seen that? Whatever you have searched, only that it keeps coming. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm getting a lot of responses. So, that means that the browser knows what you have searched. Isn't it so? Now, what you can try doing is you can take one more uh, device, like your mobile phone. Uh, if you're using mobile phone, you can take your laptop. So whatever you're using, if you're searching from that also, you'll get the same ads because they know cross device also they are doing it. So they know that you have three, four devices and any device you use, you'll get the same thing. So this is the beauty. So today we will be seeing how we can make sure that we can really be anonymous and have privacy okay I'm, I'm surprised to see a lot of comments where everybody is having something or the other so how are you tracked now this is the first thing you are what we think is if i use only different ip address i will not be tracked this is wrong because ip address is just one then there is cookies html has got e tags browser fingerprinting which you all have already seen tracking pixel this is one small pixel which is not even visible to the eyes if i put it in the email and send it to you and if you open that email i will get to know your ip address i will get to know uh, whether you opened the email or not and a lot more information we call this as tracking pixel then social media is anyways tracking and uh, cross device tracking which i already told you and then you have the offline data collection okay so this is how it works so this is what you must have seen i i showed you something uh, that time uh, so this is uh, your test indicated that you are not at all protected so if if your test show that blocking ads is no invisible tracker is no and you have a unique this means you have a very poor browser okay very poor browser in case if you're having something like this okay now look at this. Google is saying that they are hiring, but you don't have to apply because they already have all your information. Okay. So this is how it works. My guru, Sanjay Sahai, sir, always used to tell hacking is the new normal. So I happened to ask, sir, sir, what do you mean by this hacking is the new normal? So he told Anand, out of the 100 computers, 95 know that they are hacked and 5% don't know that they are hacked. So this is the unfortunate thing. Okay. Well, so now look at this beautiful photograph of mine. Can anybody tell me where was it clicked? Anyone? Can you tell me where was this picture of mine clicked? I want to see it in the chat box. Dubai, okay. So, Anwarji, I think you have gone there. Oh, Swapnilji has gone next level. Artificial, it's okay. Abu Dhabi, Sunil Kalla is telling Abu Dhabi, very good. 
okay so actually this pick was taken okay ai so this pick was a real pick actually and it was taken in abu dhabi as uh, sunil kalla ji has rightly said but uh, how do you know where was a picture taken very simple whenever you get a picture you upload it on this website called pick to map.com it will tell you the exact location where it was uploaded where it was clicked all all these details you will get it okay so how did we get these details we got these details because there is something called as data so what is the data this is the data data about data is called as a metadata and the metadata is called as exif e x i f exif which is the reason all these photos videos they share all this information you understood right where it was taken not only that it will also tell whether your camera flash was on whether you have used any software to look fair all these things information exif will reveal look at this which is the camera that was used which was the model number all these details okay now where is the privacy privacy has taken a back seat yes or no similarly if you want to really send a photo without actually sending the details you have to disable photo data and location when you are sending it on uh, ios device and when you are sending it on uh, android there is a privacy protection whenever you are forwarding you can select that and again location and data you have to disable because see imagine okay uh, you take a photo of yours and you upload it and somebody gets in your house kids are there and they will also get to know where your exact gps location of your house is so there is a possibility that they'll come home and they when you are not there and all that okay and uh, one more thing i want to tell you about privacy is in uh, uh, facebook there is an option called as inactive account manager why i'm telling this is the only there is nothing that is certain in this world except for death now suddenly if we die then who will take care of our uh, social media okay because some data may be there in our google drive it may be there in our social media how can our near and dear ones know so here you can select an option called as legacy contact and you can write there after me who can use my account not only that you can also give them permission what they can do and what they cannot do so this is called as a legacy contact and uh, i want to tell you about this okay uh, when i say 26 uh, uh, 11 what does it remind you in the comment section please 26 11 when i tell what does it remind you nobody is uh, remembering anything 26 11 taj attack exactly mumbai attack correct correct so 9 11 was the us attack this one is the taj attack so once what happened is there was this person by uh, name Mr. Ram Murthy who was in room number 632 of Taj Hotel. And suddenly what happened is uh, the uh, hotel got attacked by the terrorists. And that time um, Ram Murthy did not know what to do. And suddenly one terrorist comes to his uh, door and knocks the door and uh, he tells open the door. So Ram Murthy tells who is this? So terrorist tells shoe polish. So Ram Murthy tells, I have not called any shoe polish, you come tomorrow. The terrorist tells, please open, otherwise I will bang in. And the terrorist uses his gun and comes inside. Ram Murthy was hiding inside the bathroom. And suddenly the terrorist goes to the bathroom and keeps the gun on Ram Murthy's head. And he tells, who are you? Tell me. Ram Murthy tells, please don't do anything to me, I am a poor teacher. In that time, Ram Murthy, uh, the terrorist tells, how can you be a teacher? You are staying in such a posh hotel. Who are you? Tell me. So Ram Murthy doesn't answer. The terrorist takes his BlackBerry phone. It was 2G that time. He takes his BlackBerry phone, takes a photo of Mr. Ram Murthy, sends it to his command and control center. And after 15 minutes, he gets a response telling that this person is not a teacher, but he is the chairman of one of India's largest banks. Okay. And then uh, for his good luck, he was in the sixth floor, 632. In the seventh floor, one bomb blast happens, and all these terrorists they just run, leaving him there. And that is how Ram Murthy Ji was saved. And every year on 2611, he narrates this story. But the point here is if back then those people had that technology, imagine now what level of technology is there. I want you to all open this website called as tosdr.org. 
because all of us have one very bad habit whenever we install any website uh, sorry app on our phones or we visit any website there will be one checkbox which says i have read the terms and conditions and none of us would have read it simply we press yes i have read and uh, we what we do is we uh, uh, we go ahead but the problem is most of us do not know what is the consequence of doing that have you all opened it tosdr.org okay now you see that websites are graded from a to e where a being very safe and secure and e being horrible and unfortunately facebook amazon these are all grade e look at it and look at the last point here deleted content is not deleted the service can read your browser history my goodness the service can read your private messages your identity is used in ads facebook stores your data whether you have an account or not this is very scary because a lot of them tell i don't care here because i am not on facebook you may not be on facebook but what happens is what happens is you are buying a phone and when you buy the phone it comes pre installed with the facebook and that would have given all the permissions gallery photo uh, then gps microphone camera all permissions we have given and this is the problem okay so i i hope uh, you have seen that you can see it later and you will understand what a blunder we must have done and uh, have you do you see this whenever you install an app do you see this if yes please comment yes in the comment section where it yeah so you have seen anwar ji has seen naman ji has seen amar ji ji has seen correct so you have seen that right perfect so somebody was asking me anand why are they asking for sms permission you can see that sms permission there no why is why are they asking for sms permission they were asking me i said that is because to sell timex or rolex so they is like shocked what do you mean by timex or rolex i said whenever you have given an app an sms permission whenever you go to any shop anywhere you go and you swipe your card or you do google payment or anything you do it will tell you have spent 100 rupees your account balance is 5000 rupees in your account if 5000 rupees is there you will see timex ads in your account if 5 lakh rupees is there you will see rolex ads so this is how it works they need your sms permission just to know where you fit in the pyramid whether you are a normal bottom of the pyramid or whether you in the middle of the pyramid or whether you are at the top hni high net worth individual top of the pyramid are you following me if yes please comment yes in the comment section very good very good okay perfect okay now i want to tell you something more okay now see this first privacy what we need to know is whenever we go to one um, Uh, uh, photocopy shop uh, reprographic center or if i have to say xerox shop whenever we go there we give them our aadhar card and when we give them our aadhar card we tell them brother uh, or bhaiya uh, is a uh, photocopy kar dena and he will uh, take uh, one rupee or two rupees and he will give one copy to you you will be very happy but usually what these guys do is they take two copies i'm not saying everybody few of them they take two copies and one copy they will give you one copy he will sell it for 500 rupees because cyber criminals buy aadhar cards that is the photocopy for 500 rupees because whenever they buy a sim card they will not buy the sim card on their name they will buy the sim card which is on your name so how do you know how many sim cards are issued in your name i want all of you to visit this website go to go to google right away go to google and just type taf cop t a f c o p just type taf cop on google taf cop dot sanchar sathi dot gov dot in website will open scroll little down it asks you to enter your mobile number please enter your 10 digit mobile number and then enter the captcha a captcha is a completely automated test to check whether you are a human being or a robot or a computer okay so i hope you have entered the captcha there is something called validate captcha press that one otp will be sent you will get that otp enter the otp and press login when you press login you will see that in your name how many sim cards are registered 
okay you will be surprised to see 1 2 3 4 4 how many how many are there one okay look at this one some people may have two some may have three four please check that on my name there are three <laughs> i just checked because all these days it was only one now it is saying three so what i did i selected those numbers which are not mine and i reported it so it says are you sure you want to report i said yes i want to report so submitted request they have generated one id and i have got one sms also ruchi ji seven numbers my god i think you uh, took a copy of your aadhar card in your friend shop and your friend has only cheated you <laughs> okay so anyways now the oh four okay see we are seeing different different numbers okay bhushan ji good good to know that you have reported very nice very nice bhushan ji okay so we are going to talk about anonymity and privacy okay anonymity and privacy what exactly is it we are going to see today's topic i gave you the examples how to report the uh, ruchi ji i have told you know select those numbers and uh, not my number option you select and report that's all okay now anonymity and privacy look at this what is anonymity what is anonymity so a transaction is anonymous if no one knows who you are okay you go to a shop you buy something and you come no one knows so you have bought it that what you bought they know but who are you they don't know anonymous okay a transaction is private if what you have purchased and for what amount that is unknown they know that you have purchased but what you have purchased and what how much you have paid for that they don't know so this is the best definition for anonymity and privacy see why because we are all using ip address we are all using tcp ip udp ip for uh, communication right now we are all uh, have uh, maybe on we are on udp ip or tcp ip whichever it is so you see that ip address is already there so the problem of that is internet is a public network as simple as that so internet is designed as a public network routing information is public even if you encrypt even if you encrypt what are you encrypting remember you are only encrypting the data the green color what you are seeing you cannot encrypt the blue color the blue color area is the header it cannot be encrypted you are only encrypting the data even if you are using tunnel mode even if you are using tar whatever you are using i will show you how information gets leaked we think that tor is 100% anonymous no it is pseudo anonymous not 100% anonymous why we will see because there are different types of anonymities pseudonymity anwar ji you are asking for the ppt 100% ppt is yours okay pseudonymity susceptible to subpoena sender that is receiver cannot know or observer cannot know whom you are sending receiver Ob see, you can see the observers here. They will not get to know sender receiver. So these are the four types of anonymity. I repeat: pseudonymity, sender, receiver, and sender receiver. Okay. Of course, anonymity is good because uh, uh, tomorrow I want to tell something, my free speech, but I don't want to be targeted. Then we can, uh, uh, you know, you can use that anonymity for whistle blowing. You know that WikiLeaks and all that. Correct. So it is needed. anonymity but the problem is you may get threats you may get spam you may get uh, illegal activities all these things also can be done see it is like a double edged sword correct no double edged sword so uh, advantages are there disadvantages are also there so look at this uh, privacy and security and all that so when we talk about privacy in privacy there is anonymity unlinkability that is you are hiding the link okay unobservability hiding the activity pseudonymity one time pseudonym and plausible deniability not able to find out only who has done so this is the ultimate level now so wire tapping is ubiquitous we know that even the wireless traf uh, traffic if you are using wifi i can use a lot of devices the best device uh, 
uh, these days that is available flipper zero you must have all heard of flipper zero so if you have that you can crack into any wi-fi network so all these things are available and the governments also have got different different things spy wise the pegasus this that all they can use and they can compromise your anonymity and privacy so what people have started doing is they started using tor which was developed by the us navy okay so they think that by using tor it will protect their privacy protect from prosecution and what not so the technical guys here will know that there is something called as open uh, um, uh, osi okay so open systems interconnected is called so osi seven layers are there second layer is data link layer instead of data link layer we are having an anonymity layer which will make us anonymous so a lot of people are there who sent this message we don't know here only few are there look at this so many people are there who sent we don't know anonymous and unlinkability unobservability so the traffic basically the person will not be able to see because it will be either encrypted or that person will not know which traffic goes to whom so how is this possible by using proxy in the first case or by using vpn a lot of people use virtual private network and they do it okay so but i still want you to understand that see this i am the person sitting here i have a wi-fi there is a hacker and uh, internet service provider is there for the inter from the internet service provider see what hacker can see you you are able to see okay what hacker can see my username password data location site all he can see from this hacker okay i am entering all these things hacker is able to see everything from the internet service provider see what police system admin and lawyers can get everything the security agencies like nsa ib all that what they can get from the internet service see all this from the website all this my goodness saw that this is when https is off and tor is off see at the left side corner https is off tor is off when i switch on https when i switch on https look at this what happens see how much of information is is masked are you able to see okay now when i switch off https and switch on tor see and you think that tor what is anonymous not at all see relays get all the information see you got it no huh. but when i use https with the tor see right now only tor is on https is off but when i use https with the tor this is solid see look at this huh? you saw what a beauty it is see but still still some information is leaked that is why i use the word pseudonymous and not anonymous do you think it was right what i used pseudonymous if yes please comment yes in the comment section correct pankaj ji naman ji good good saw that right so this is how it is okay so next so the assumptions are weak attack strong attack it can be anything high computing power all all these things so different types of attackers are there administrator only can be an attacker remote attacks can happen local eavesdropper can happen different different attacks are there and you see this from absolute privacy to provably exposed this is the level of anonymity okay next so we can use different tools you can all visit this website called anonymizer later it is an assignment for all of you anonymizer.com like that website you can go and you will be able to see how you can anonymize a lot of things we can anonymize ip address mac address what and all we can anonymize okay next so from anonymous data can we de-anonymize yes that is also possible okay so now using artificial intelligence by anonymous data i can still de-anonymize and figure out whether it is you or not okay so 
two types of privacy online and offline but whichever it is we have to make sure that data perturbation please remember this word data perturbation so what is data perturbation it means we are adding noise in the data so that even if they get the data they will not be able to know what it is so this has to be done otherwise what will happen is tomorrow if your data is leaked they will get to know it is you how to know please visit this website i have put it in the chat box have i been pond.com i i request you to all visit this website have uh, the spelling is proper that i have entered have i been pond.com please visit this website okay so what uh, when you enter your email address there it will tell you oh no pond or it will say good news so what is the answer that you are getting please comment in the comment section first visit have i been pond.com there enter your um, email address and after that i want you to press that pond button what is the response you are getting please share no pawnage found good news no pawnage found good 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 okay very nice have you have you used your uh, official id or your personal id try with your one data breach found okay okay so just check this i request all of you to please enable two factor authentication and i want you to please make sure that you have a password that is minimum 16 characters law which has got numer numericals upper case lower case and symbols so do you all remember that dog yes or no the first slide i showed you do you remember the dog ha ah, you remember the dog let us see the dog once again so 1990s they used to say on the internet nobody knows your dog but now our metadata analysis indicates that he is definitely a brown lab he lives with a white and black spotted beagle mix and i suspect they are you saw that saw that right this is how it works this is how the internet is working and i want you to know that everything about you is leaked why because of browser tracking because of browser tracking because of something called as a cookie so cookie is a temporary file which is sent by the server look at this you are the browser see point number 1 you visit website a website a sends one cookie to you that is point number 2 that cookie is stored in your computer now you stop visiting website a you go to website b this is point number 3 but when you go to website b the cookie will show you the ad of website a and you will click on that and go to website a this is how i told you that time the lakshadweep ads or washing machine ads it works you understood no so this is how it works so once you visit a website you get that website's cookie that is installed now what some of us do is we delete the cookies so once you delete the cookie it is fine you will not get that but these days they have started sending you super cookies and zombie cookies so zombie cookie means it will be kept at different different locations so even if you delete it in some location it will still be alive and again you will keep getting again you will keep getting so it is called zombie cookies and super cookies and then i told you you might be using proxy you might be using vpn you might be using anything but uh, if your browser has got a unique fingerprint they will know that it is you that is called as browser fingerprinting next look at this how it works so whichever website you open it finally goes to that site you saw right so this is how it works 
which I showed you over here. Next. So web tracking is there. We cannot do anything. Okay. So anonymous and privacy. These two have become a joke actually because look at this. Your identity and the website. So whether you use single device or you use multiple device, how they are tracking you using cookies, fingerprinting, identifiers, local storage, tracking pixel, login, all these things they are using against you only. When you have time, please check this. All this what I've mentioned over here, you can see how it is being used because anyways, the uh, slides will be shared by Jagdish Ji to all of you. So this is how the targeting happens and we have to be very glad that in India finally we have Digital Personal Data Protection Act. From 2019 it was always jumping from Lok Sabha to Rajya Sabha, Rajya Sabha to Lok Sabha and finally it has been uh, come into force and the best part about it is I'm seeing it for the first time uh, a law in India where the penalty goes up to 250 crores. Huge penalty. Okay, so if data breach happens, this is the penalty that shows how much India is giving importance to data privacy. And be very careful whenever you upload photos like this. You can see a photo here where Honorable Prime Minister Sir is showing his fingers. Now, recently, not recently, in 2014, there was a guy by name Jan Chrysler. He took the fingerprints from the photos, okay, from the photos of Germany's defense minister and he logged into our system using that. You know that if I have your fingerprint, I can not only use your phone, but there is one new technology called as AEPS, which stands for Aadhaar Enabled Payment System. So if I have your Aadhaar number and if I have your biometrics, I can withdraw 10,000 rupees from your bank account. And you wouldn't even know that I have withdrawn. So therefore, my request to all of you is check out what AEPS is. And the best thing you could do is visit M Aadhaar website or my, uh, what is that, M Aadhaar app or my Aadhaar portal and enable biometric lock. Okay, enable biometric lock if you're not using AEPS. And remember, forwarding a message is equal to accepting the message and endorsing the message. Remember this, privacy, security, anonymity. What you see, the, the intersection, that area, the dark area, that is where we can expect very good of all these three. So it is not only enough if we have privacy, not only enough if we have anonymity, not only enough if we have security, but we should have all the three. So the best thing you can do is go to your Google Chrome and there is an option there which says do not track. Click on that. It will protect you from not being tracked. Just by using incognito mode does not do that. You have to go for this. Do not track. Okay. So I hope uh, this session was of uh, use to you. If yes, I request you to please comment Jai Hind in the comment section so that I will also be happy that I was of service to all of you.